All right, so in this video, I have a pair of the Nike Off-White Waffle Racers, and I wanted to give you guys a review of this sneaker right here and compare it to some of the other spiky nibbed shoes that uh, they've released as well. What is going on guys, Hess here, collectivekicks.com. If you guys wanna shop this week's top sneaker deals, check the link in the description and happy shopping. All right, today though, I have a video review on this off-white shoe right here, which is the latest and greatest or not greatest of the, uh, the off-white series from Nike and Virgil Abloh. This is the third like women's exclusive, I guess, model that looks very, very similar with these weird rubbery nibs on the bottom of the shoes. We saw it first on the Terra Kiger right here, which is honestly my favorite of the three. I just think it looks the best. Uh, but these ones are definitely weird and spiky. Then they released the Vapor Streets, which also have these crazy weird spiky things on the bottom. And now the Waffle Racers as well. Lots of weird spikies. Not really sure how I feel about them still. Overall comfort on the weird spiky things. I've already mentioned it in the other videos. It feels like one of those 90s Koosh Ball toys where it's a little bit squishy and you know rubbery and that's kind of how it feels on your feet. Not the best sensation on this shoe with Vapor Street. Look at the crazy, I love showing people the butt of this shoe because they're like, whoa. They're like, oh yeah, the shoe doesn't look that bad. It looks kind of okay. And then they see this and they're like, LOL, what? Like this is crazy, narrow and weird and horn-tastic. It's just ridiculous. This is like the one that I said was the worst Nike Off-White collaboration thus far. That's just my personal opinion. Other people disagree, which is totally cool. But uh, but yeah, I just don't love the overall look of what they did with this. And the spikies just leads to a, uh, a foot rolling hazard in my opinion. That foot rolling hazard really didn't get eliminated with the new version because I don't think that they really care about that. This is a really narrow shoe too. You can see it comes down and then kind of goes back out like that. I mean, for a wider flat foot kind of dude, why would I buy that is the question. The answer is because I didn't know it was that skinny. And like when I'm buying the shoe, like I'm looking at this picture, like online, and I don't see that. So it is what it is though. I mean, it's definitely a really, really narrow shoe back here as well, same as the other one, but it is lower to the ground, which is better than the Vapor Streets. The downside again are those weird little nibs. If you can get past that though, I mean, at the end of the day, it's just a unique looking shoe and it looks like a track shoe made for casual wear, which is exactly what it is. They did do the interesting lacing system on these ones as well, which if you look now, it's the exact same weird lacing system on all three of them. However, they are different laces. So you can see it's like green and then green a little bit different and then an all solid green on that one. But so that is kind of an interesting little twist how they added the laces over top of the laces. So double lace syndrome going on here. This one has the snakeskin effect over top of it, which is the same as the Vapor Streets. It is a really weird plasticky material over top of the shoe. And I just wanted to point this out that this is not the same plasticky material that they use on their performance shoes because those ones are actually breathable. This is not a breathable material. Underneath this plasticky thing though, you do have a regularly built shoe. You have different panels under here of suede. Then you have that nylon material here as well as on the tongue, which is the raw edge tongue, which is kind of like off-white sort of thing. Then you have the silver swoosh here with the little orange tab. It says Nike underneath here on the back. Right here is where it kind of fuses uh, together, it looks like. Off-white for Nike, Waffle Racer Beaver in Oregon. 19 is the date on there. In the insole, you do have that off-white uh, yellow sort of thing, which is the same as the other ones as well. On the midsole though, you notice a couple different color variations. So it's kind of like a green and then a pink layer under here uh, before you get to the bottom. And this is actually a little bit of green showing through in the bottom too. So it's like they did one coat of pink and then one coat of green. And I don't know necessarily the reasons why they did that. They did the same thing with the Terra Kigers, as you can see here, it kind of bleeds through with that green and the, the pink and the black. Also on here as well, it has the same uh, effect, which I think is kind of cool. I just don't understand the purpose or why it's that way, but yeah, it's kind of cool. It has a little bit of marbling and leftover color of the under layers right down here. But that's kind of a look at the Waffle Racer. What do you guys think about this uh, model? I think it looks better than the Vapor Streets, but I don't think it looks better than the Terra Kigers. I think that these ones have just an overall better look to the shoe. It's definitely a lot wider too, so it's more wide foot friendly. Also, another thing I like about the Terra Kiger has those little holes on certain sections like right here, like the little Swiss cheese sort of look underneath there. All in all, I think that this was the best one that was executed. And resale on these are really low. Like, I mean, you can get these close to retail if under retail, depending on the size. Same with all of these though. And is there a trend here that should be noted? Should it be noted that track and field like inspired 
sneakers that look like they're for performance but are actually made for casual are not a thing that people are interested in. The foundation of the Terra Kiger is actually a running shoe, more for trail, and then they made it for track. And then in this case, they made the trail running shoe inspired by track, but made for casual. Yeah, confusing. In this case, you have the Vapor Street, which is a casual sneaker inspired by a running sneaker made so in a track and field form, but for casual use as well the super confusing and then you have this guy the uh, off-white waffle racer which is a retro nike waffle sneaker that's made for the look and feel of a track shoe which the waffle racer was a track running shoe in the first place but this one is made in a off-white-esque vibe and made for casual as well so this one is the one that makes the most sense like if you had to make any sense of all the weird things that they did to these but all in all they're all definitely different and unique little children of Virgil Abloh and I, I mean I like this one I think it looks cool and I definitely liked this one and the three colorways that they had of this I like the best out of all of them that purple and black one though um, maintained that theme through the entire pack it seems like everyone had something similar to that but anytime the off-white name pops up you wonder if the resale is going to be there or not feels like Travis Scott took a lot of the shine from off-white this last year in 2019 curious to see what 2020 actually is going to do for um, Virgil Abloh and Off-White and Nike and the collaborations that are going to happen. Uh, I personally am going to be looking forward to those Air Jordan 5s. Hopefully everybody else keeps dogging them so I can get them for retail, if not close to or under. But we'll see what happens with the prices of the Dunks are when they drop too. A pair that I'm also very interested in. The last thing I wanted to note is I want to dip dye these a different color. It will be kind of interesting to see if I can get the underlay to dye and the over top part to stay the same color. It would be kind of cool to see a really bizarre color of these. So I might try to do a dip dye of these in a specific color. Leave a comment if you guys want about which color you'd like to see. But uh, that's, uh, that's the video. Have a good rest of the day. Subscribe for more sneaker videos. And uh, we'll see you guys for some more videos soon. Peace, guys.